Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we will solve exercise 23b. Number one. Number one says write down the angles complementary to 43 degree, 28 degree and 36 degree. So what is actually complementary means? You know, if the summation of two angles is 90 degree, then we can say one angle is complementary to another one. Again, what is complementary? If the summation of two angles is 90 degree, then we can say one angle is complementary to another one. Now we have to find out the complementary angle of 43 degree. So complementary angle of 43 degree should be equal to, we have to subtract this 43 from 90 degree. So 90 degree minus 43 degree, then we get 47 degree. Now complementary angle of 28 degrees, similar type of problem, that should be 90 degree minus 28 degree. And that is actually 62 degree. And what is the complementary angle of 36 degree? It will be, you know, 90 degree minus 36 degree, and that is 54 degree. And that is the answer of number one. Now, number two, number two says, write down the angle supplementary to 26 degree, 74 degree, and 142 degree. So what is actually supplementary angle means? Supplementary angle. If the summation of two angles is 180 degree, then we can say one angle is supplementary to another one. So we have to subtract this 26 degree, 74 degree, and 142 degree from 180 degree. Why? Because from the definition, we know that the summation of two angles should be 180 degree. Then we can say one angle is supplementary to another one. Then supplementary angle of 26 degree will be 180 degree minus 26 degree. That is actually 154 degree. Very simple one. Now supplementary angle of 74 degree will be 180 degree minus 74 degree. That is actually 106 degree. And last, supplementary angle of 142 degree should be 180 degree minus 142 degree. And the result here is 38 degree. So we can say 154 degree is supplementary to 26. 106 degree is supplementary to 74 and 38 degree is supplementary to 142. Now, number three, number three says, write down the angles complementary to 60 plus y degree. So what does complementary angle means? Complementary angle means if the summation of two angle is 90 degree, then one angle is complementary to another one. That means we have to subtract this 60 plus y degree from 90 degree. So complementary angle of 60 plus y degree will be actually 90 degree minus 60 plus y degree. That means actually we can say 90 degree minus 60 degree minus y degree. Actually the answer here 30 degree minus y degree. Now number four. Number four says write down the angle supplementary to 50 plus z degree. So how can we solve this one? We know from the definition of the supplementary angle, the, if the summation of two angles is 180 degree, then we can say one angle is supplementary to another one. That means if we want to find out the supplementary angle of 50 plus j degree, then we can write 180 degree minus 50 plus j degree. That is actually 180 degree minus 50 degree minus z degree. So 180 minus 50, that is 130 degree minus z degree. So supplementary angle of 130 degree minus z degree should be 50 plus z degree or supplementary angle of 50 plus z degree should be 130 minus z degree. Now number five, number five says if two adjacent angles on a straight line are P and 4P degree. So if I draw this figure, we can say, suppose this is a straight line. And suppose there is another straight line and this line and the value of this angle is P degree and the value of the remaining part is 4P degree, suppose. So we have to find out the value of P from this figure. So we know that 
one straight angle means 180 degree we know that one straight straight angle means 180 degree that means summation of p and 4p degree should be 180 degree so p plus 4p that is 5p degree equal to 180 degree so p degree should be 180 divided by 5 so if we divide 180 degree by 5 then we will get 36 degree and that is the answer of number 5 then we can say if that is 36 degree then the remaining part will be 4 multiplied by 36 degree and that is we can say 4 6 j 24 so there is a 4 here 2 will be on our hand 4 6 j 12 plus 2 that is 1 4 4 or if we subtract this 36 degree from 180 degree then we will get also same answer 10 minus 6 that is 4 there is 1 here 4 so 1 4 4 degree look we will get same answer and we can say another thing is that 144 degree is supplementary to 36 degree or 36 degree is supplementary to 144 degree now number six number six is similar to number five look if two adjacent angles on a straight line are q degree and q plus 40 degree find the value of q just uh, draw the figure then you can solve it very smoothly suppose this is the straight angle or straight line so if i draw a straight line so I said this is Q and this is Q plus 40 degree. Okay, this angle is Q plus 40 and this angle is for Q. And this angle is Q. We have to find out the value of Q. So how can we solve this one? From the definition of the straight angle, we know that one straight angle represents 180 degree. One straight angle represents 180 degree. So summation of Q and Q plus 40 degree should be 180 degree. So 2Q equal to 180 degree minus 40 degree. Then we can say 2Q should be 180 minus 40, that is 140 degree. If we divide this equation by two, then we'll get Q should be 140 degree by two, that means 70 degree. Then we can say Q should be 70 degree. Then what will be this one? This one should be 70 plus 40. That means 110 degree. We can say another thing from this figure. That is 70 degree is supplementary to 110 degree. And 110 degree is supplementary to 70 degree. Now number 7. Number 7 says two lines AOB and XOY meet at O. Suppose if I draw two straight lines. Suppose this one is AOB. And this one is x o y okay i want to level it suppose this one is a o b and this one is x o y the question said these two straight lines meet at o fine and the value of angle a o x is 76 degree the value of angle a o x is 76 degree write down the size of the angles x o b B O Y and Y O A. So how can you solve? Look, at first we have to find out the angles of X O B. This one. So how can you solve this one? We know that A O B is a straight line. That means A O B is a straight angle. So angle A O B equal to 180 degree. That means we can say this one and this one both are supplementary to each other. So XOB should be supplementary angle of AOX. That means the value of angle XOB should be 180 degree minus 76 degree. Now, if we separate the 76 degree from 180 degree, what will we get? We'll get 104 degree. Now, another thing. We know that there is another angle that is called vertically opposite angle. AOX is vertically opposite to BOY. That means these both two are vertically opposite. And this XOB and AOY are vertically opposite. And from the theorem, we know that this vertically opposite angle should be equal. That means 
a o y should be equal to x o b and b o y angle of b o y should be equal to angle a o x so if a o y equal to x o b and we know that value of x o b is 104 so the value of angle a o y should be 104 degree and the value of angle a o x is 76 degree from the statement we know that so angle b o y should be 76 degree now number eight number eight says a o b and o x are two lines which meet at o so we have to draw a figure that is suppose this is a o b okay and o x so we can draw o x here so we can level this one a o b and o x are two lines which meet at o okay fine these two lines meet at o if a o x equal to 1 2 2 degree that means the value of this angle is 1 2 2 degree and o z bisects the angle x o b so we have to draw another angle that bisect x o b that bisects x o b okay bisect means equally divided by 2 so o z by 6 angle x o b that means x o j equal to b o j so from the statement we can say x o j should be equal to b o j now we have to find out the angle x o j so how can we solve it at first we have to understand what is the value of x o b so AOX and XOB are supplemented to each other. So we can say the angle of XOB should be 180 degree minus 122 degree. So if we separate 122 degree from 180 degree, we'll get 58 degree. And since XOZ and ZOB are equal, that means we can say XOZ is actually equal to half of angle x o b that means half into 58 degree so if we divide 58 by 2 then we'll get 29 degree so each one will be 29 degree 29 plus 29 that is 58 degree so the angle x o z should be 29 degree now number nine number nine says the angles 2p degree, 3p degree, 4p degree, and 6p degree together form a complete revolution. Find p. So a complete revolution means actually a 360 degree. That means a complete revolution, that means actually 360 degree. That means these four angles creates a complete revolution. That means the addition of these four angles is 360 degree. So if we want to add this four then we'll say 2p degree plus 3p degree plus 4p degree plus 6p degree equal to 360 degree so 4 plus 6 10 10 plus 3 13 13 plus 2 15 p degree equal to 360 degree so if we divide 15 in both parts then we'll get 360 divided by 15, that is 24 degree. And that is the answer of number 9. Now, number 10. Number 10 says, A, O, B and O, X are two lines meeting at O. That means, suppose this is a line that is called A, O and B. A, O, B. And OX, that means we can draw another line that is called OX. And this OX and AOB meeting at O. The angles AOX equal to 54 degree. The angle AOX equal to 54 degree. The lines OP and OQ bisect the angles AOX and XOB. OP and this is OQ. So OP bisects AOB, that means OP divided this angle equally. So 
OP bisect angle AOX and OQ bisects angle XOB. Now we have to prove that OP and OQ are perpendicular. That means that they will create a 90 degree. We have to prove OP is perpendicular to OQ. That means actually we have to prove angle POQ should be 90 degree. So how can we solve? So actually POQ means POX plus XOQ. So what is actually the value of POX? POX equal to half of angle AOX. That means half into 54 degree. Half into 54 degree, that will be 27 degree. And if we want to find out the value of angle XOQ, that is actually half of angle XOB. That means half into, what is the angle of XOB? Is this XOB is supplementary to AOX. So what will be the value of angle XOB? That should be actually 180 degree minus 54 degree. So what is the value of 180 degree minus 54 degree? That will be 126 degree. So XOB equal to 180 degree minus 54 degree. Why? Because XOB is supplementary to AOX. So half multiplied by that will be 126 degree. So 126 divided by 2, that is actually 63 degree. So we'll get two value, 27 degree and 63 degree. Now we have to find out the value of angle POQ. So POQ equal to, we can say, that is actually POX plus XOQ. So POX represents 27 degree, XOQ represents 63 degree. The, and the summation of 27 and 63 should be 90 degree. So if I say angle POQ is 90 degree, so we can say POQ is a right angle. That means OP and OQ are perpendicular. And in that way, we can solve number 10. And that is the last question of exercise 23B. So thank you very much for watching the video. See you soon on next video. Until then, Allah Hafiz, Fiyamayla.